Hello friends, I am Dr. Satya Tripathi. In this video, I will show you how to calculate bond length and the dissociation energy of a diatomic molecule using quantum espresso package in Windows 10 operating system. To run this package, we need basically two files. First is input file, second is pseudo potential file. Let's see how to download this package and run this program. To download this package, we need to go to this Quantum Express website and from download tab, we can download the package for the Windows. To download the pseudo potential file, you can go to this Materials Cloud website and you can download this pseudo potential file for each element. Next go to how to prepare the input file. So for preparation of input file, this is my input file for this tutorial and this is for hydrogen molecule. All the terms and symbols have been explained in this website quantum express website so you can go to pwx program where you can find the explanation of each term okay so here i would like to explain two things this is like uh, bravis lattice one okay so this is like a unit cell we have taken and this is hydrogen molecule this is a pseudo potential file so this is one hydrogen atom we have fixed at the origin other we along the x-axis with a distance 2.0 in bore unit okay so rest of the parameter all the explanation you can find it in the quantum express website okay so another thing pseudo folder you have to create where you can put the pseudo potential file and output where you can save the output data so for this let's see how to run this package to run this package we need to go to the power cell so this uh, uh, run folder is actually in my desktop so let me see so it is in desktop and inside that two files are there first is three files folders two folders and one file so one is uh, this uh, uh, this hydrogen molecule input file then is sudo potential folder then is output file okay so to run this package we need first sudo potential pw dot x yes yeah pw dot x so you give the path okay next give the input file path so this is h this is first put, click uh, press minus symbol i n dot backslash then put h2 dot i n so if you enter this you are going to get yes the quantum expressor package is now running for hydrogen it will take uh, less than a minute because it hydrogen z is equal to one so let me see what will be the total energy so we'll wait So we have reached up to sixth iteration. Yes, I think job is done. Here, one parameter is important that is called the total energy. Here, total energy minus 2.26 Redberg. One Redberg is 13.6 electron volt. So for this particular value of, uh, let me show you. For this particular value of the bond line 2.0 bore, we have calculated the total energy. So you can go to this folder, you can write 2.0 we got uh, around uh, minus 2.26 2.26 okay red bug so basically to draw the potential energy diagram we need different energy values with respect to distance so let me put it uh, okay uh, we need to obtain the output file also so to obtain the output file you need to put this thing again so next you need to put uh, uh, greater than symbol then h2 dot out so if you put this the program will run and in the test folder you can see that uh, another file is created so it will take some time to create the uh, data so after it completes the run we'll see the file it is still running
yes the run is complete so you can see the output file here so this value we basically needed this uh, total energy value this is the most important value right now and this value we have calculated for uh, this bond length uh, 2.0 yeah 2.0 we have calculated uh, yes for 2.0 we have calculated my similarly we need to uh, repeat this experiment we need to put uh, again uh, this one as we can vary the distance we need to vary from uh, 1 to 4 up to 6 bore so I am giving just example 1.5 I am putting so I am saving the file control s so let me go to the program again so uh, yes so if I do this okay I'll put another output h2 hyphen 1 dot out so enter so it is still running now if you remove this uh, greater than symbol h21 out it will automatically show in the terminal all the running so but we don't want it because we already saw that so we need uh, that file this one is already created let me see the output it will take some time like one minute it will take yes the run is complete so for uh, 1.5 you can see the total energy value is around minus 2.33 so you can have this uh, minus 2.33 1.5 2.33 so like this you need to complete uh, like uh, from 1 to 5 you need to go so from that that data you can obtain this plot like total energy as a function of bore so you will obtain a potential energy as a function of distance so for the minimum value of potential energy you can calculate the bond length okay so this is the way we have calculated and uh, you can calculate the dissociation energy from this value by adding electron affinity as well as uh, this ionization potential okay so that will be around uh, 4.2 electron volt or 4.5 electron volt okay so uh, here in this process we have calculated the equilibrium bond length so let me conclude it so in this tutorial i have shown you how to calculate the bond length and dissociation energy using quantum expressor package if you have any doubts you can put a comment on the description box and thank you for watching this